Have you ever noticed unusual changes in your skin and wondered what they might mean? Could these changes be signaling something more serious, like diabetes? Are you aware of the subtle signs your skin could be showing about your health? In today's video, we're diving into the top 8 weird signs of diabetes that can appear on your skin. Stay tuned to discover these signs and how to spot them early. You may be surprised to know the blisters or red patches on your skin, and you may have been wondering what they are. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. Number 1. Darkening of skin folds Aconthosis Nigricans is a skin condition often an early warning sign of diabetes, explicitly pointing towards insulin resistance. This peculiar skin change involves the darkening and thickening of certain areas of the skin, particularly in folds such as the neck, armpit and groin. These affected areas take on a distinctively velvety texture and appear darker than the surrounding skin, varying from a light brown to almost black hue. Research published in journals such as the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology has found a correlation between acanthosis, nigricans, and higher insulin levels, suggesting that it can be used as a clinical marker for insulin resistance. It occurs when the body's cells become less responsive to insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. As insulin resistance develops, the body attempts to compensate by producing more insulin, leading to higher levels circulating in the bloodstream. This excess insulin then triggers abnormal growth of skin cells, resulting in the characteristic dark patches of acanthosis nigricans. Beyond its visual markers, the condition may sometimes feel itchy or smell differently, prompting individuals to seek medical advice. Recognizing acanthosis. Nigricans on one's skin can lead to early diagnosis and management of diabetes, highlighting the importance of awareness of this and other unusual skin manifestations associated with the condition. The second on the list is Livido reticularis. Lividor reticularis emerges as a distinctive and somewhat perplexing sign of diabetes, manifesting as a blue or purple lace-like pattern beneath the skin surface. This intriguing pattern is most commonly observed on the legs, though it can appear on the arms or elsewhere on the body. The condition results from alterations in the blood vessels that cause a mottled appearance, often prompted by decreased blood flow or the clogging of small blood vessels. The appearance of Livido reticularis might not be symptomatic, but its presence indicates underlying circulatory issues that are crucial for individuals with diabetes to address. The compromised circulation that leads to this patterned discoloration underscores the broader vascular challenges faced by those with diabetes, including the risk of peripheral artery disease and other complications that can stem from poor blood glucose management. For individuals who notice this net-like pattern on their skin, monitoring the area for any changes or developments, such as an increase in pattern visibility or the emergence of related symptoms, is essential. While leave du reticularis itself may not require direct treatment, managing one's diabetes and ensuring robust circulation are critical steps in preventing the progression of circulatory issues. Engaging in activities that promote good blood flow, such as regular exercise and following a diet that supports vascular health, can be beneficial. Additionally, maintaining a dialogue with your doctor about any changes in skin appearance or circulation can help manage diabetes more effectively, allowing for timely adjustments in treatment plans to address these and other related concerns. Number 3. Sudden Outbreaks of Blisters Individuals with diabetes may occasionally find themselves dealing with an unusual and somewhat surprising skin condition known as Bullosis diabeticorum, more commonly referred to as diabetic blisters. These blisters are distinctive for their sudden appearance, often emerging on the hands, feet, legs or torso without apparent cause. Unlike the blisters that result from friction or burns, diabetic blisters are generally not painful and contain a clear fluid. Their size and shape can vary, with some resembling burn blisters, which adds to the confusion in identifying them. The development of these blisters is closely linked to diabetes and its impact on the body's vascular and nervous systems. High blood sugar levels can cause damage over time, leading to skin complications that manifest in various forms, including this type of blister. 
Despite their alarming appearance, diabetic blisters typically heal on their own, albeit slowly, over a few weeks. However, this slow healing process increases the risk of secondary infections, further complicating the condition. Monitoring for signs of infection around the blistered area is crucial, as is maintaining optimal control over blood sugar levels to support the body's natural healing processes. For individuals experiencing diabetic blisters, it's essential to consult with your doctor. They can offer guidance on proper care and preventative measures to avoid future outbreaks. Additionally, your doctor can assess the blisters to ensure they are indeed related to diabetes and not another underlying condition that may require different treatment. Number 4. Hard, thickening skin. One of the less commonly discussed indicators of diabetes is the skin transformation into a complex, thickened state, particularly noticeable on extremities such as the hands and feet. This condition, medically referred to as sclerodema diabeticorum, presents itself through the skin becoming noticeably thick and hard, with a texture akin to that of leather. This change not only alters the appearance of the skin, but can significantly impact flexibility and mobility, making everyday movements more challenging. These symptoms are the body's response to high blood sugar levels over time, leading to skin collagen changes. Collagen, the protein responsible for skin elasticity, can become glycosylated, where sugars attach to proteins, causing the skin to lose its normal texture and stretchiness. Unlike the small round patches associated with diabetic dermopathy, sclerodema diabeticorum affects larger areas, and the thickening is more diffuse, often leading to a waxy or hardened feel. Despite its daunting presentation, managing blood sugar levels effectively can alleviate some of the symptoms and prevent further progression of the condition. Number 5. Yellow pea-like bumps. Eruptive xanthomas manifest as unusual yellowish pea-sized bumps on the skin, serving as a striking indicator of diabetes. These lesions, primarily on the buttocks, elbows, knees and hands, are the body's external signal of elevated cholesterol and triglyceride levels in the bloodstream. Not only are these bumps visually distinct, but they also have the potential to cause discomfort, ranging from itchiness to pain upon touch. The presence of eruptive xanthomus is particularly noteworthy for individuals with diabetes or those at high risk, as it underscores the importance of monitoring and managing lipid levels to prevent further complications associated with diabetes. The appearance of these bumps prompts a crucial opportunity for healthcare intervention, emphasizing the need for individuals to seek medical advice. Managing diabetes effectively and maintaining balanced cholesterol and triglyceride levels can help mitigate these distinctive skin changes. Number 6. Shin Spots Diabetic dermopathy, often called shin spots, is a notable skin manifestation seen in individuals with diabetes. These spots are characterized by their brownish or reddish hue and typically emerge on the lower legs. Unlike other skin conditions that might cause concern due to discomfort or itchiness, shin spots are generally painless and do not present a direct health threat. However, their appearance is a visual indicator of underlying issues associated with diabetes, mainly related to the small blood vessels. The development of shin spots is attributed to changes in the small blood vessels that nourish the skin. Over time, high blood sugar levels can damage these vessels, affecting their ability to supply adequate nutrients and oxygen to the skin. This compromised vascular health leads to the characteristic discoloration observed in diabetic dermopathy. The spots may vary in size and number, with some individuals experiencing a few isolated patches, while others may have numerous spots. Individuals who notice these changes in their skin must take heed, as shin spots can indicate broader complications associated with diabetes. Engaging in diligent diabetes management practices, including regularly monitoring blood glucose levels, adhering to a healthy diet, and maintaining an active lifestyle, is crucial in mitigating further vascular damage. Number 7. Increased Skin Tags 
Skin tags, small benign growths that protrude from the skin, are notably more prevalent among individuals with diabetes, particularly those with insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. These flesh-coloured or slightly pigmented tags cluster where the skin experiences friction or folds, such as under the arms, around the neck, in the groin, and under the breasts. Their appearance can range from a mere cosmetic nuisance to a source of irritation, especially in areas subjected to constant rubbing or clothing pressure. The link between skin tags and diabetes is thought to be associated with insulin resistance. High levels of insulin in the bloodstream may promote the growth of skin cells, leading to the formation of these tags. Additionally, skin tags may reflect an underlying predisposition to other metabolic conditions such as obesity and dyslipidemia, which often accompany diabetes. While skin tags themselves do not pose a health risk, their presence can serve as a visual cue for doctors to screen for diabetes and other associated metabolic syndromes. Regarding management, individuals may opt for removal due to discomfort or aesthetic reasons. Removal methods include cryotherapy, where the skin tag is frozen off, or excision, where it is cut off. However, you must consult your doctor before attempting any removal procedure to avoid complications. Lastly, persistent itching. Persistent itching, medically known as pruritus, stands as a subtle yet discomforting sign of diabetes that might catch many by surprise. This particular symptom can be widespread, affecting different body areas with an intensity that often increases at night. The mechanism behind this itching is multifaceted and closely tied to the broader spectrum of diabetes-related skin conditions. High blood sugar levels can lead to dry skin, a common precursor to itching. Additionally, the compromised blood flow and nerve damage associated with prolonged periods of elevated glucose can further exacerbate sensations of itchiness. Individuals experiencing persistent itching should be vigilant about their skincare routine, focusing on moisturizing regularly to combat dryness. Moreover, it's crucial to resist the urge to scratch. While scratching may offer temporary relief, it can ultimately damage the skin and open the door to infections, complicating the condition further. The link between persistent, itching and diabetes underscores the importance of maintaining well-regulated blood sugar levels through a balanced diet, regular exercise and adherence to prescribed medications. Consulting your doctor is a wise step for those grappling with this uncomfortable symptom. They can offer tailored advice and treatment options, potentially including medicated creams or antihistamines to provide relief. In conclusion, while these eight unusual signs of diabetes on the skin might seem odd, they can be important indicators of overall health. Early detection and management of diabetes can significantly improve outcomes and prevent complications. If you notice any of these signs, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional for a proper diagnosis and treatment plan. Remember, staying informed and proactive about your health is the first step toward a healthier future. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more health insights.